Hey Turtle Squad, I'm Kame Turtle and you are watching Turtle Time. Now this is actually a very special episode because I've been wanting to do this one since I first started YouTube pretty much. This one took a little longer than expected because I had to rely on outside sources. As for what we're covering this video, well if you haven't bothered to read the title of it, what is the furry fandom? I went out and asked people I know, posted on social media, and the strangers on what their answers were for these three questions. Now this video is good for people who are entering our fandom, people who are just curious about our fandom, or even long time gray muzzle. Now let's get into it shall we? The three questions I asked my viewer, the people who answered anyway, are what is the furry fandom by definition via Wikipedia? They should be a little more unbiased than wiki fur anyway. Question number two, what is the furry fandom to you? And sorry, actually all over the map on this one. And question number three, what have you gone out of this fandom? All right, I got Wikipedia pulled up on my computer right here. So I'm going to read only the top portion blurb. As of April 4th, 2020, Wikipedia has the answer being the furry fandom is a subculture interested in anthropomorphic animal characters with human personalities and characteristics. Examples of anthropomorphic attributes include exhibiting human intelligence and facial expressions, similar to Miko from Pocahontas, being able to speak, Scooby Doo anyone, walking on two legs and wearing clothes. Hmm, that sounds like a certain mouse from a uh, company that starts with D. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> the term furry fandom is also used to refer to the community of people who gather at, on the internet and at furry conventions. Yes people, we do have our own conventions. If you ever been to an anime convention, comic book convention, video game convention, you pretty much have an idea what's going on at a furry convention. Only difference is, there's a whole lot more people dressed like animals there. That's much the only difference. Fur meets are also smaller scale conventions. I'll dive into what fur meets are at a later video. I'll see what not others answered to this question. Ready? Here we go. Uh, basically, a uh, furry is someone who is a fan of anthropomorphic animal, basically animal with human characteristics. Uh, <laughs> Well-known examples include uh, Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, uh, also include examples such as characters from The Lion King. And basically, every single person who's a furry, that is the one thing that we all share in common, fans of anthropomorphic animals. Uh, aside from that, there's various different subcultures in with uh, specific interests. Some people have more of an interest in wolves or other canines. Others tend to like uh, more fictional creatures such as dragons, for example. But that's more the gist of what a furry is. Uh, wait, these are... Okay. Uh... Off the top of your head. Uh, people who have a persona or creative persona that is a anthropo anthropomorphic creature of some kind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would actually have to check that. I don't know it by heart, but to me, the furry fandom is like having your own custom spirit animal. Each person is different. Some may be a German Shepherd or cat bull, shark, whatever, but instead of it being just a general animal, it's customized to the person. Specific color patterns, personalities, everything. Such a, in the same way that you would create an original character that's human. The furry fandom is a community of people who are interested in anthropomorphic animals. They make art to them and even make their own characters and costumes. It's also a great place to make friends and feel accepted into a community.
Well, hell, some of those guys were all over the map on those answers. But a few of them did get it right. At least by Wikipedia standards, anyway. Now then, question number two. What if the furry fandom to you? To me, it's all about the art. Some people able to roleplay, maybe their fictional characters, the drawings, the videos, you know, the people making these costumes we wear, and the performers in those costumes. It's all about that for me. Now, other people all might say hey, that the art is only 18 plus. And I'm not going to lie, there's a fair bit of it. A fair bit. So, any young furs out there, get your parent permission before you surf the net for furry stuff. Make sure they have the appropriate blocks on. Because believe it or not, you will find more than enough PG or even G rating in furry art out So, yay for you. And once you reach an appropriate age, then you can look up the adult stuff beforehand. I know you guys. Don't do it. I do not condone that. Let's see what some of the others have answered to these questions. Uh, fandom to me, basically when I got into a fandom, I was like during a really low point in my life, kind of depressed, and basically for me, it's about friends, uh, meeting people with, uh, similar interests as me, and just being able to have the community of it, being able to hang out, go to uh, fur meets, basically uh, meets where people who are furries can just hang out together, uh, usually at like a park or whatever, have a picnic or something. Just uh, being able to have a group of friends, like-minded individuals, basically. Well, to me, we represent all a community of giving and charity. We love coming out to do picnics and support the community by entertaining kids down by the carousel. Just being friends, really. I believe, to me, they're just like a, they're another group of really cool people. A really, a bunch of very creative folk who are misjudged, honestly, because they're just as good and bad as any other fandom. Like, and I come from the, the the anime community and everything else I know, who, you know, every, they are really mostly known for their cosplays, but they have some bad stuff in them too. But no, the furry community is very, misund um, very misunderstood. And, but they're all like, so far I've had a good time with them. They're very good people. For me, the furry fandom is just a place to feel safe and have fun while doing something you like. I had suicidal thoughts once, but I didn't do anything to harm myself or something like that, because the furry fandom kept me going. It helped me make my best friends, helped me find out my sexuality, and it helped me find my identity. It helped me, f me with way too many things to say here. So, it's also everything to me. Wow, some of those answers were pretty deep. Thanks for sharing, everyone. Now for the most personal question. What have you done out of this fandom? For me, I have personally gotten out of this fandom a crew of friends who I might not have met without it. I've met people who are shared similar interests that then helped me develop my own. Let us see what the others had to say about this. Here we go. As I said before, it helped me with my suicidal thoughts, figure out my identity, sexuality, helped me with making friends, helped me be happier, make me less shy, and made me more confident and proud of myself for being who I am. I've made quite a few new friends, including Tommy the Turtle. Uh, some of my other friends down there, Rex, Garnet, Sketch, Alex Cook, um, and a bunch of others. Um, I've gotten several badges, a lot of free art. I've gotten to go to Anthrocon in 2015, I think it was, or 2016. And that was an absolute blast. If you ever get the chance, please go. You won't 
regret it? Um, honestly, a lot of friends and good times. Like my, um, I first was introduced to it through another friend named Kayla, and she was a furry, and oh, she well, she is a furry, and then she got her first first uh, first suit at a convention, and I met her up there and everything up here at MFF, and everything ever since then we just palled around and. She introduced me to some of her other friends. And it's just been, I guess, more friendship and creativity. Like, inspiration mm. as well. Because I've also inspired to, like... I have, a, like, I've gotten a few movie ideas or something like that that I would like to do that involve the furry community. Um, and eventually I'll get around to it. But, yeah. So, creativity and friendship. Thank you. That's all I needed. Alright. Johnny. What have I got now, the fandom? Uh, well, like I said with the previous question, uh, really has helped me, uh, get a lot of friends. I mean, I've opened up, I'm not as, uh, close off as I used to be. I used to be, like, really shy, just kind of stayed to myself. Uh, just not even make any attempt to meet new people, but ever since uh, becoming a furry and meeting other furries, I've kind of come out of my shell, so to speak, with that. That's primarily why I've gotten out of it. Cool. Oh, well, thank you, Rex. Hey guys, welcome back. I want to give a big shout out to everyone who participated in this video. If this thing gets enough likes, enough traction, I may do a second part to this video where others are asked their answers for these questions. If you have any answers for these questions that you want to submit, I'd love to read them in the comments below. That being said, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that bell for notifications for my next video airs. Leave a like, or maybe a comment. Share this with your friends, family, anyone who you think might like this. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny.